Well, ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk, okay? Put your kids to bed, man. Hide your wives, and while you're at it, put your puppers on a leash. Yay! You're gonna thank me later, ladies and gentlemen, because there's this video that is going viral right now. We're gonna take a look at like this video if you like it, subscribe if you're brand new, roll it. And crazy UFO videos for you tonight. We're looking at one of them right now. Miami, Florida. Holy. The jellyfish UFO has returned, and we're looking at some doorbell footage that is yet to be explained because what we're looking at is a ufo we're gonna get a it, it does look like a person with jetpack right at first glance but when you pause it i don't know man I, i've been reading comments people are saying it's just a it's just a gray alien with a jetpack on so what right so what's the big deal bro close up look at whatever this is we've seen it before but this is some of the clearest footage that i've seen of this unusual jellyfish for context, there was a video that was taken from the military base, I believe in Iraq, and there was a UFO that was looking like that, and they called it Jellyfish UFO. UFO that has been making the rounds, captured in broad daylight, coming back and forth, the doorbell rain cam is capturing multiple angles of this strange robotic ufo it's hard to tell is it the jetpack man is it a bunch of balloons i don't think so what we're looking at is definitely something very strange guys i want to get your opinions leave your comments below it really helps the algorithm and hit that thumbs up right now if you're it is in bizarre. for the ufo sightings from around the world right here at third phase oh, hell yeah. once hell again yeah. a close-up look we can kind of see some apparatus some legs some arms and a strange kind of helmet if this is the jetpack man it's the strangest jetpack technology yeah. that i've ever seen we, to be fair though we do have jetpacks that do look like that uh, a little bit a little bit especially but these are the types of jetpacks that you see on water right you know you would have like those arms and you would hold them and it would shoot water out of it and you, you feel what i'm saying and of course there's also other types of jetpacks but you would have the i'm not sure what you would call it but i guess the propulsion system the one you know the air would come out so it pushes you upward so you can fly you have that but then but but, but see like you don't see it it's on both sides it's like front of your arm and back of your arm so it's like you do that it's a bunch of those around your arm so it can just push you upwards right but it doesn't have that this is a very very bizarre one seen guys take a look again another close-up we're getting some detail on it and Holy. definitely i don't see any fakery what we're looking at it's legitimate footage now let's get to the next that, video this is okay. coming in from palmdale california listen up bro what the fuck <laughs> yeah this what? happened recently what what why isn't my phone focusing what is happening right now where is it going it's landing that now this is linked with um, drones uh, some people are calling these drones and understandably because uh, apparently there was a show that happened in hawaii a drone show but did that happen in california in palmdale california i don't know about that one okay so some people are also saying well you could see the drones from hawaii in california impossible man there's like a 2000 miles difference you cannot okay you guys see this <sighs> Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? What is that? What is that? Wait for it. I got another one. just watched the third angle of this event that just happened. Palmdale, California. People are in awe of what's going on. Is this some kind of drone display? Multiple drones, one drone? I, I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. Some people say that there might have been some kind of drone show, but again this is uh, very strange look at, at yeah we did hear that it happened in hawaii but not sure about california in, in sync right there and then the camera person shoots up you see this orb in the sky and then it descends again at a rapid rate look at this yeah wait for it wait for it there's uh, more clips uh different different videos not this a one fleet of ufos three of them possibly some kind of technology that we're not aware of or maybe something mundane a fleet of drones again people are filming the sky they're looking for answers right now we don't have it but again uh, we're looking at something that is very strange i need dr j on this one like where's dr j where's uh you can hear it in the people's voices they're in uh shock and awe they're kind of freaking out you almost heard the person just breathing kind of heavily just wondering what they're looking at maybe they're afraid of being abducted i'm not exactly sure but this is uh, interesting stuff that just happened over 
Lancaster, Palmdale, California. Guys, if you were within the area, let us know if you captured anything crazy. Now, more crazy UFO videos just since the third phase of moon. Give us a big thumbs up. This is some footage that was captured years ago, over a decade. And this is some kind of possible ship landing in Plymouth Airport, Holy. UK. And we're looking at this right now. Just watch what if it's as whatever the, uh... this craft is descends down onto the tarmac and you see a whole bunch of people running up to it. Later, we have the eyewitnesses testimony. He's gonna explain to us what he experienced, but just look at this for a little bit, guys. And notice as it, whatever this craft is, it kind of just descends. It's not landing like an airplane. It just drops down. I, I'm not aware of any airplanes that can do this. This is quite extraordinary being that this video is over a decade old. And we want to thank the Hidden Underbelly 2.0 for getting permission from the person who shot it to share it with you right here at Third Phase of Moon. Oh crap. Yeah, it's slowly just at descending. First I thought it was an airplane that it was kind of descending and it was gonna go down the the landing path there and descend down. But to be fair though, like airplanes don't it, it does have that kind of shape if you think about it, like that would be the, the, the face off and right. But usually like the planes don't have lights there. Yeah, the lights are here and here make sense, but it descends down onto the tarmac and then look very closely you see a bunch of people running right up here. to it yeah. it almost looks like something out of the close encounter movie and according to the eyewitness he didn't see the people until he viewed the footage afterwards yeah and, uh once again yeah, you do see the shadows of the people here as well and we Hard want to thank the to hidden see, underbelly who actually got an interview what's that from the person who shot this he's going to explain to us what he experienced what he saw and again this isn't science fiction this is science fact and what we're looking at uh, i can't tell you again this is did somebody teleport out of it like what the hell some old footage i'm gonna roll out any kind of cgi what we're looking at is legitimate footage here's a good clip. i don't know about that one chief but it is uh, intriguing what's up of uh with this craft and again it's just okay let's say his testimony there let's say his testimony and then there's like this uh clip bunch of clips that are going around as well that i want to share with you okay like holy smoke as you don't want to miss that man yeah, this is absolutely wild. Wait for it. I don't see any uh, navigation lights, anti-collision lights. This is uh, very peculiar. Now, let's listen to the eyewitness How testimony old is that? with regards to this sighting it, it, right now. It can be a drone, to be fair, but so 21 years ago, I'm riding home. 21 from work. years. I see a light in the sky, and I assume it's a plane landing. Don't think much of it. The carry on riding, and I realize I keep looking up to the left, thinking. Is it landing? Because it's it's slow if it's landing. Um, so I thought I'd pull over, as you do, curious, and, and watch it through the fence. You're just looking at it thinking, this is cool. I'll, I'll video it. I've got my first Vodafone phone thing. I think it was one of those flip phones with a camera in it. Take a few pictures. I'll video it because it looks cool. It comes down and then it stops. I've never seen a plane hovering in the air like that. Apart from maybe a Harrier. It just oh, stops yeah. in the air for, I don't know, a couple seconds, minute or so. And then, as you see in the video, it slowly comes down to the runway. And all these people come running out to meet it. I don't remember seeing people on the runway. I don't know where the hell they came from, but they're in the <laughs> video. I'll never forget it. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. I'd love to see it again. How far were you though? Okay, so early 2000s, uh, flip, flip phone, so makes sense about the quality. And, and I wonder, like, were we, uh, I don't want to uh, rewind it, but the question that I have is that were the people showing up when the that so-called UFO was up high up in the air, or let's and see, just, just, just find out, okay? To know that, it, you know, I don't know. But um, I'd, lo I'd love to see something like that again, but it was a unique experience. Um, now you do see, okay. Questions. Um, I'm sure Underbelly might, Hidden Underbelly might put, I don't know, a link to my channel somewhere in the video. Maybe he did say he mentioned me, so I appreciate that. And thanks for reaching out to me, but uh, he almost didn't see it because I was going to delete the video thinking, Maybe why even bother keeping it, you know? But um, Yeah, it, it really is hard to know, like, whether people were there or not. Okay, it feels like that people were not there from this shot, but the quality is so bad, it's just, like, hard to, really hard to tell. 
Because my question is, I yeah, I think these are the people that are looking at it, right? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But where was this recorded? I thought recently I'll, I'll upload it and see what happens. I didn't think it would get quite a big response. So um, for those of you that have seen it, cheers. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I've, ne I've never seen one like that. I've seen a few things in the think. sky, but I've never seen anything land at a local airport. And then just to have a few weeks later after this bizarre landing, the airport closes down and is now derelict with a few warning signs oh, on, you know, on the fence, keep away, don't enter kind of thing. But um, yeah, I said I might go up there and take a few pictures for him, but um, when I get the time, weird, don't know what to make of it. But, but what, uh, where exactly? Yeah, still he did not mention unless I, I'm didn't hear it maybe maybe i missed it did he say i don't think he said right but check this one out illuminated craft off in the distance captured in the night we're looking at something very strange this green series of orbs or could it be one large craft in the sky some kind of drone that we're not aware of if it's a drone it's not you're going to you're not going to see this at the consumer market here. You're not going to pick it up at Walmart or anything. This is something <laughs> crazy. Brent, your thoughts. Yeah, Blake, I'm really digging this video. It's making Yo, one day we might be able to pick up a UFO from Walmart, man. The rounds all over the internet right now. We're seeing it kind of splashed everywhere. We're so happy to share it right here at Third Phase Moon. Yeah, Blake, good question. Is this a series of orbs that are floating independently or is this one craft in general? I'm, I'm, I'm counting like one, two, three, four, five orbs of light. And then and the sixth one. They're illuminated green and it's just suspended in the air. We don't know what this is. Could this be uh, some new technology, maybe new drone technology that we're not familiar with? All I know is that these guys are on the ground. They don't know what it is. Yeah, Brent. And you uh, especially it's high up in the air. We do not know how high it is, but it's definitely big. It's not uh, anything small. It looks bigger than a drone, I would say. It's dead silent. You don't hear anything whatsoever. And you can kind of see a glimmer of light right at the bottom of this uh, craft. So it makes uh, six lights all together in this circular pattern and again if this is some kind of craft in the sky i'm an es i'm estimating it to be at least i don't know 20 to maybe 30 feet in length but again to be totally Fair. quiet in the sky and it gets quieter at night things starts to settle down and you hear things off at a great distance and you would hear rotor blades in my opinion what we're looking at is something that is unexplained maybe some kind of new system of propulsion that we're not aware of right now yeah it's interesting we've been seeing these kind of craft recently that we've been posting on third phase of moon that kind of exactly resemble what we're looking at here could this be a new series of of technology maybe somewhere else that we're not familiar with some something otherworldly or is this ours yeah, yeah, that's the big question. Now, like I said, we got a lot of UFO videos, so hit that thumbs up. Uh, leave your comments on what you think it is. Now, let's roll the next one. Coming in from Sao, Sao Paulo, Brazil, April the 2nd, I'm assuming, 2024. Paulo, Brazil. Again, another nighttime shot. We're getting a perspective with the, the bell tower, the clock to the left, and then uh, this illuminated craft in the sky. Is this some kind of propped up blimp? I, I don't know. I guess they do show up in other parts of the world too, right? Because people always say, and, and I mean, I don't, I don't blame anybody. It does feel real. It does feel like that. They always just show up in U.S., Amer uh, U.S., China, and Russia, right? More often than not, they only show up in U.S. But I guess they do show up in other places too. And right nowadays, uh, we we're getting ca videos from everywhere. No, I'm not seeing any kind of canopy, and it resembles a, a disc-shaped object, in my opinion. What we're looking at, again, is the phenomenon, and this yeah. is something that we need to share on Third Phase of Moon. Everybody, if you're watching this live premiere, please copy-paste this link and share it on your social media right now. Tell them there's a lot of UFOs coming up. Brent, your make of what's going on in Sao Paulo right now. Yeah, I just got to say uh, thanks to everybody, Paulo, all our Third Phase Moon Paulo, fans. Right? Last video that we posted, it's close to like 50,000 views. Good job. And what is this? What Yay! are we looking at? We're seeing some sort of like illuminated craft that has this kind of like white fluorescent light all around it. And what's interesting is you see this black mass right in the middle. Is this something that...
kind of like makes me feel like it's a black hole that I'm looking at uh, from that movie, right? Like it ha if you were to zoom it out and uh, interstellar movie, right? Like there was one moment where you go closer to the, the black hole and you do see like a, a oval shape like that with a black hole in the middle. It's similar to that. It gives me that vibe. If you were to zoom out completely, you could actually see and look it from afar like this through or is this some sort of uh, just something hiding within the craft itself? Yeah, hard, to say. hard to say. Okay, we're gonna next out. Okay, so we're gonna go over in the next clip. I'm just gonna door, babe. Kiss. I'm loving it. Looks like a blimp, but. Gravin Wobbini, babe. Both Kahiku, famoso. Tranquilo, papi. Now, Tranquilo, papi. Getting a close up. I'm liking this one a lot. It's broad daylight, some kind of metallic object in the sky. Just. Is there like a door opening there? Damn. Maybe like an alien would drop, right? Or maybe, uh,. No, it's, it doesn't have parking brakes applied, so it's moving, it's moving. Seemingly defying the laws of physics, it's just hovering there, steady, and moving it doesn't up. look like any kind of a balloon that uh, would be able to yeah, mimic moving, these kind moving. of characteristics. This thing is actually just stationary. Uh, I don't know what balloon could do that. Uh, what is are it we really? Is it really stationary? I feel like that it's moving. Yeah. Yeah, you, you point that up like it does look definitely rock steady again. Maybe there's no wind. It looks metallic. It looks silver. It looks heavy. I, I like the close up. You see the kind of the ridge right in right in the middle of this craft. If that's what it is, it could be a balloon. People might throw that out there. I'm throwing it out there, too. It's a maybe a possible weather apparatus balloon up in the air, up in the sky but look it's just right above the traffic lights there hovering in the sky this guy Matt if it's a balloon like we just need some like nail gun and just shoot like one like pow son pow and see if it blows up or not not blows up as in like fire blows up but like you know you you hit the balloon with that and poof uh air comes out of it but imagine it's really like a balloon like you don't want to do that like somebody can die there so you don't want to do that hard to say man it's hard to say what it is because it does look like a blimp a smaller scale one not necessarily a blimp blimp but closer to it i guess and it's to get the shot out of its car pointing directly up and we see this just hovering i really wonder if uh, any of uh, any people any person has seen like a ufo and immediately just shot at it right like i wonder if, and what if like the UFO was super close and you shoot at it and it hits it? What if somebody actually does did that? Because like how many people are we? Like 8 billion? So I'm sure like at least one of them tried to, right? Like what about that though? I'm kind of curious, right? Like have you ever thought about that? Like what if you actually shoot at it? I wish we had more video where... Would they fire back at you with their ray gun? We could see it uh, at its final point. Where, where did it go? We don't know. Well, that's a big question right here it's yeah moving, uh, sometimes moving. as people don't have the opportunity to chase these things down who knows maybe the guy had to get to work he's in traffic and sadly maybe he lost sight of it after the light turned green but once again we're seeing it and it's crystal clear in the sky and you could hear in the people's voices they're saying omvi a ufo and they captured it on video they're super excited and uh, definitely, if you're seeing the phenomenon, I, I'm telling you, don't hesitate. Pull your camera out. And if you're driving, be careful. I know a lot of people have sent us videos while pretty much at a high speed on the uh, driving on a freeway, filming and driving at the same time. If you could do it, hey, just be safe about it. That's all I got to say. But uh, once again, this craft. Don't text and drive, sickers. It's don't hard do that. to estimate its exact size, but, uh, you know, it's something that just seems to be hovering just dead steady rock solid there no no variations in its movement of okay we're gonna get to the next one we got another yeah, one here this one it's no, very it's strange to me it seems like people are on no, the ground i'm trying to figure out what yeah. language they're speaking it could be french but i'm not exactly yeah. sure I'm guessing here but are we looking at some kind of massive craft in the sky you can see almost the edges that almost make out a triangular a pattern in whatever it is it's it's there uh, there's no cgi going on people say it's there's cgi there's ai videos no uh, we we can uh, look out for those things are you sure about that one <laughs> things and discern what we're looking at here uh, pretty much most of the time when we're saying it's not cgi i think we're pretty uh, accurate in saying that and right now i'm saying 
accurately, in my opinion, that we're looking at something in the sky and it's unexplained. Accurately, in my opinion. In my opinion, it could be real. In my opinion, it could be wrong. I, he once said that, and that was hilarious, man. That was hilarious. Uh, I, I love these dudes, man. Not, uh, we, we all make mistakes, man. It, it happens, man. Slip of the tongue, fellas. Slip of the tongue. In my opinion, it could be right. In my opinion, it could be wrong. It happens. Oh, yay. Shout out to the homie third phase of moon. But I'm missing Dr. J. What about Dr. J? Where is Dr. J at? Apollo, Dr. J. Um, well, yeah, like, where's the squad at? Where's the squad at, guys? I need Dr. J back, bro. You got a light flashing. You got the zoomed in version too. Looks like there was a plane behind as well, right? You saw the light flashing, like blinking. Those are probably plane lights. And then there's like a bird that flew by, okay? This one is baffling indeed. Let me know your thoughts, guys. This was the last episode that we've done. You're gonna love this one if you have not seen. Check it out. If you've already seen, then check out the video on the left, man. Got a lot of these baffling clips.